Everything is happening very quickly, I guess, um, to keep pace with the rate of the infection. So about, I would think, 10 days now, um, we started getting together a little task force to sequence the coronavirus strains from our own patients. So the urgency of doing this is that as the virus propagates through people, it acquires mutations. And with these mutations, we can sort of follow the virus around and understand in the cases of community spread where it wasn't obvious that the patient picked it up from foreign travel, where it's coming from. Very interestingly, our patient, the first one we sequenced uh, was from NYU Winthrop. And um, this person had no travel history, so it was a mystery where the virus came from. And so we got a leftover sample, remnant sample from the clinical lab that did the coronavirus testing. And um, we weren't sure how the sequencing was going to go because from a nasal swab, most of what we were going to detect is the human uh, nucleic acid and not the virus. Um, but we did a shotgun metagenomic sequencing, which means we just took every nucleic acid from that swab, we broke it into little pieces and we put it into one of our big sequencers. We sequence hundreds of millions of bits from the sample and about 10,000 of these bits corresponded to the virus. If we can map all of these mutations, we can trace the transmission. An international website called GISAID that tracks normally flu data, and now they're tracking the COVID-19 data. Scientists from all over the world are depositing these sequences from different patients from everywhere, and this way we can follow the infection around. In the future, once we have a lot of these sequences in the database and we're able to correlate with clinical parameters, we're going to be able to understand if these strains had different clinical characteristics. For example, maybe one strain causes a more severe disease than others. Maybe one strain uh, was much faster to spread through the population. Um, maybe there are strains which responded better to different kinds of antiviral treatments that are being tested right now in the clinic.